Hey, Wonder Friends, what's black and white and full of magic and glitter? If you said a panda corn, you're really smart. And I want to teach you how to draw one. Here we go. I think pandas are one of the coolest looking bears, if not the coolest. They are cute, but don't be fooled if you find one in your backyard. Remember, they're wild and they're not nice. And if you find a panda corn in your backyard, well, that's just your lucky day. Because the ground will part and a bazillion gold coins will appear before your very eyes. Luckily for you, I happen to know how to draw a panda corn. And all you need to draw is a piece of paper, something to draw with, and a willingness to try. If you need to pause the video, go to check your backyard for panda corns. I understand. I'll wait right here. If not, let's get started. Okay, Wonder Friends, before we get started with the panda corn, first thing we need to do is we need to wake up our brains. And on Wonder Friends, we call this a mindful minute, and it's super easy. I need you to sit up big and tall, wiggle your toes, be here now, be present with me. I want you to take a deep breath. And you can say this out loud or to yourself. I am me. I matter. I try my best. I am super fantastic. That was awesome. And you are super fantastic. I don't say so myself. So, all right, guys. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our page up and down. And we're going to make this panda corn. I hope that you're ready for the magic that we're about to make, which is the panda corn. And speaking of magic, if you need... Or if you feel like, you know, your magic isn't keeping up with my drawing, that's fine. You can always pause the video and rewind and go back or, you know, come back later. However, it works best for you. Second, if your drawing doesn't look like mine, that's perfect. I don't want it to. I want it to be your version of what you draw and that makes it pretty amazing. All right, we're going to do is we're going to start with our page up and down. And right in the middle, we are going to draw a shape that goes around just like this. It's a little bit of a square. If you've noticed it, it's not just perfectly round. It's got a little bit of a squareness to it. And on each side of that, you're going to just put kind of like little ovals, like they kind of get smashed in there just a little bit. All right, now let's pretend that we got an imaginary line running between there, and we're going to just draw an upside down V. And we're going to use, see that line that intersected right there? We're going to use that to our advantage, and we're just going to make some other lines right there. So now that what could have been a mistake looks like it was done on purpose. I won't tell anybody if you don't. Okay, guys, so we're going to use this line now that we have this, and we are going to draw... A big oval and another big one just like that okay now inside of that this is where it's a little tricky when we're doing pandas I want you to draw one more and one more okay and then inside of that I want you to draw one more and one more so right now that looks not so good I'm sure that it looks kind of confusing but check out what we're gonna do is we're gonna color in that middle one first Okay, and now I want you to color in this one on the outside. The good thing about a panda is that you don't need a lot of colors. So as we color this in, you'll start to see now, and if you need to round that out a little more and you want to even it out, this is the great time to do it because it'll work perfect for you. All right, so then what we're going to do is down here, we're going to draw the nose is like a little bit of a straight line and then a little stop half circle to connect it together. And that's how you get those like little cool little panda looking face to it. All right, now what we're going to do for the mouth, I want you to just draw a little half circle right there, just like that. And we're going to draw a big dip down just like that there. Now, when we did that, what we're doing is we're going to put inside of here a little bump, and that's going to make the tongue. So this little shape that you made here, we're just going to color it in. And now we have it inside of the mouth, right? Now, one of the things that's going to help this look more alive is if we put some eyebrows on it. Put those eyebrows up there. All right. And then for the body, 
Now pandas are, you know, they're big roly-poly bears, so we're going to put a little bit of a wider body on it. And you can use these little shapes right here, this like these eye parts that you made, and you can use them to your advantage and kind of make them like boom, boom. See how I kind of line them up with that? And then for the legs, I want you to make like a big little squishy hot dog. Pretend like the hot dog got smushed a little bit. And we're going to do the same kind of thing for the arms down. All right. So any kind of other details that you want to add in here, now is the perfect time you can do those. We're going to sprinkle some unicorn magic on this panda corn. How do you suppose panda corns are made? Do you think that maybe they hung out with a unicorn one night and then they magically, like through some magic of the forest, they became buddies and then like the unicorn said, hey man, I think that you would be a really cool magical creature too. And that's how it came about. All right, guys, we're going to do some coloring to this. We're going to fast forward right now. So feel free to get your markers out and color this any way you want. If you want to color just like me, you can always pause at the end. But we're going to start fast forward and speed it up right now. Okay guys, so what you can do if you get into this spot where you want to add some details, you can totally go in there and add all these little details. And all the little details, what they do for you is they just they just make it stick out just a little bit more, do some things as you might have saw here. I added some things like these little pink dots. Uh, you can add little things like you know on the, the mouth around there. Just all these little elements help just make it your drawing just look a little bit better and it just makes it look a little more uh, like finished right instead of it just being a drawing then you've you've made a piece of art that could be any kind of thing that you want to it. This is what's really cool about this stuff. Um, you can add in if you would like even some white highlights to it in some spots and that will add a little bit more character to your drawings. I use this with using a white pencil. It's a great way to add a little bit of fun elements to your drawings that helps them stick out a little bit more. All right, guys, so one last thing. Make sure that you sign your name to this so everybody knows who made this awesome piece of art. I hope you had a blast drawing with me because I sure did draw with you. Have you ever noticed how things seem impossible until they aren't? I wonder what you can make possible for you today. Until I see you, be the weird you want to see in the world. See ya! Hey, Wonder Friends, I would love to see the art you create and feature it on one of my videos. With the help of an adult, take a photo of your finished art and post it on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Don't forget to tag me so I can find it. Hey, are you looking for a signed copy of one of my books? Check out my website, wondervillestudios.com, for books, t-shirts, mugs, and more. I also do loads of school visits and would love to hear from you about scheduling a visit. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other fun drawing lessons. Until I see you, be the weird you want to see in the world. See ya!